So there I was, masquerading as an author with a pen name, when to my chagrin I was brought into the startling remembrance that I had in fact become a ghostwriter. Well, that's one way to die of exposure. Salutations, fellow readers, writers, and killers of time on YouTube. My name is Martha Jones, and due to a recent unorthodox happening in my writer's life, I would like to use the androgynous sounds of my voice to share with you a few words about... Pen names versus ghostwriting. In case this happens to be the first source you've consulted on the subject, pen names are professional pseudonyms that authors sometimes use instead of their legal names. There are many reasons why an author might choose to use a pen name. They might be teachers or even preachers trying to keep students or employers from finding out that they write in a less than prestigious genre. They might live in a country where the press is restrictive or the populace is unfriendly to the point of sending death threats to authors of literature they do not like. Still others came with a name that is so common that if they try to market books under it, they are invisible online. Some authors may have even written controversial but formative fantasy work a long time ago, then later, for reasons of their own, decided to write mediocre crime thrillers under a different name for branding purposes. Like, even when you know who that author is, there's that little extra degree of cognitive separation that comes of having somebody else's name on the cover that would allow some readers to take a journey with this author to which they have not been hitherto accustomed. Godspeed, madam, to any consenting readership who will have you. But despite the modicum of anonymity that a pen name can give you, you as the author are still responsible for any branding that is associated with that pen name. You maintain social media under that name, you sign books under that name, and you answer that brand's critics as best you can. Ghostwriting, on the other hand, gives you a lot more anonymity, but it generally limits your ability to take credit for your work. A good practical use for your ghostwriter might be a brand for which it is not feasible for one author to keep up with demand. So you as a publisher would have a team of authors writing under one name on a well-known and long-lived brand for which it is not necessarily feasible for one author to keep up with the supply for the demand. Another instance in which a ghostwriter might be employed is if one guy has a marketable brand and the other one is literate, such that this guy might pay that guy to write a book anonymously, then take that book and sell it on behalf of the brand at whatever markup he thinks the market will handle. Everyone makes money, not a bad system overall, but it might not be a good fit for authors with a supernatural need to see their name on stuff. Because while as the ghostwriter, you forfeit the right to stuff you probably didn't want to deal with anyway, like marketing hassles and hate mail. But if something goes extra, extra well with that book, you also forfeit your right to take a bow. In my case, I had it pitched to me that I would be a ghostwriter for a pen name under which multiple writers would be contributing. It was never pitched to me as anything but a ghostwriting position. But time passed. I found myself finishing stories for the project way quicker than expected. And through various talks with the publisher, I got the idea that the other writer might be writing under her own pen name, which has already garnered a modicum of marketability. So I behaved like an author who had a pen name and attempted to market the brand such as I was able. And then under the pen name, a book showed up for sale that I did not write as a stark reminder that as far as the brand was concerned, I was supposed to be a ghost. Fortunately, the publisher was pretty chill. I didn't sign any non-disclosure agreements, so I don't believe I did anything illegal. But if for some reason you have the unorthodox privilege of being in courtship talks to be a ghostwriter for a publisher, pay close attention to the terms. If possible, get the terms in writing for your protection and theirs. So if need be, you can both refer back to it and see what's expected of one another. And do some honest soul searching for whether you're okay with not having your name on your work. As always, thank you for giving these videos a shot. I post whenever I can. Meantime, take it easy. Love you. Bye. Like my channel, buy my crap, do da do da. There's no time to take a nap, oh the do da day. Hey, we are here to scare you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do 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 do